Hi peeps, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your host CSS Quarter. And in today's video, we will talk about how CSS Grids and Flexbox work and how we can use it to get a responsive layouts which will work on mobile phones, tablets and desktop. We will work on to get a three column layout which will be responsive and grids, as you know, grids and Flexbox makes our life much easier for responsiveness. So let's start it and see how we can get a three column layout with grids and flexbox. See, this is a three column layout which I have made with grids and flexbox and it's totally responsive. When I resize the browser, it adjusts to the size of the browser. See, it's responsive. For tablets and mobile phones, it converts to one column layout. And for desktop, it has a three column layout. So let's jump to VS Code and see how I write the code for it. We are in VS Code. I have already written some basic stuff like title for the page, the link for the external CSS. That's what I have written. Now let's write the code. We will use a div with a class of container and then another div with a class of grid item. And in this div, we will have another div with a class of item. We will write the text for it. The first one, we will use HTML. We will copy it and paste it two times. This text we will change to CSS. And the third one, we will change to JavaScript. Let's save it. Now, this is all what we need for the HTML. In CSS, I have already written some basic stuff like the root variables, the ground color which we will use for our boxes, the color for the text, the box shadow for the which we will use for the boxes, and for body, a font size of 3 rim and the phone weight of 600. Now what we will do, we will use the container class and set it width to 100%. Now we will display the container as a grid. We have Grid, we have used container as a parent for these inside divs. So we will display the container as a grid. So display it as grid. And we will use grid template columns and we will divide it into three columns. So grid template columns GTC 1FR. 1fr 1fr so when i save it see i have the live live server on so it automatically saves so i don't have to refresh again and again see it has this is in one column this is in second and this one is in third now we will give it a grid gap of 20 pixel so now they have a grid, grid gap of 20 pixel now for item class we will give the boxes a height of 200 pixel i will set the color of it and we'll use this color variable which i have set it so So war color save it see the color has changed now I will use the background color for the boxes and for this I will also use the variable war into bg color so let's save it see it has a background color now we need to align that text to be centered perfectly. So for this we will use 
flex so display flex align items center so let's save it see align items what it does it vertically centers the text and for horizontally we will use justify content center so it is vertically and horizontally center completely now we will give the grid items a padding of i think we should need to give a 40 pixel so see now they have a gap of 20 pixel 40 pixel it's not completely responsive still so we will use some media queries at the rate media maximum width 768 pixel so whenever the screen resizes to 768 pixel or below it so show the container class and the grid grid template columns in it to 1fr so let's save it see when the screen resizes to 768 pixel or below the 768 pixel it resizes to 1fr when it again goes to full screen it has a three column layout again when we did resize it below 768 pixel it resizes to one column so this was all for today's tutorial hope you have enjoyed it and learned something from it how we can build a responsive layouts by just using grids and flexbox see you in the next tutorial thanks